Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a trick to create lazy loading animation on your Figma prototypes. So if you're not aware of lazy loading or also known as a UI skeleton, it's nothing but an intermediate screen uh, to keep the user informed and engaged that something is happening in the background or that something is getting downloaded. It's mostly used in cases like images and all because the size of the image could be bigger. And to just to keep the user informed that it's getting downloaded, we have a dummy screen, a dummy kind of a skeleton screen. So without any further ado, let's see what we're going to create today and then we can get started. So here I have a Figma prototype and this is the home screen with some images. And once I click on this user link here, you can notice that it's just fading in, fading out. Uh, that is nothing but the lazy loading or the UI skeleton. So we are going to see how to create that. Yeah. And for that, I'll be using the sample file by Figma here. So if you've seen my previous tutorial, I've showed you how to create Lottie files without using Adobe After Effects and then bringing it onto Figma. So this one is a part of that video. So if you want to check that, it's just the previous video to this one. So in this tutorial, I'll be using these two screens here. One is a home screen and one is a profile screen. So once I click on this user link here, I want to navigate to this screen, but I want an intermediate screen which shows lazy loading for these images here. So since I want it on this layer here, I'll just duplicate this one. And before that, I'll be showing you two methods here. The first one is going to be a very easy one and a quick way to do it. And the second one is going to be an advanced one where you can change the layer colors so that you can also use the same lot animation on a dark mode also. So make sure that you watch till the end of the video. So if you're not aware, Lottie Files has a plugin for Figma. So if you're not installed it, just go ahead and install it and then you'll find it here. So once it's opened up, it's going to look something like this and then just go to the search and search for lazy loader. So I've already created a uh, animation and uploaded it onto Lottie files. So this one, the first one you see here is the one I uploaded. So just click on that and you can see the lazy loading effect. So before you convert to GIF, the one thing you got to make sure is the background color. So just make sure you change it to E0, E0, E0. That is the layer color here. So we'll talk more about that on the second method here. So for this one, just change it to E0, E0, E0 and click on convert to GIF. It's done and all you got to do is add to Figma. And there you go. We have the GIF here as a layer. So just turn this off and here we have the GIF. I'll just place it here. And all you got to do is go for option command C, which does a copy properties or you can just right click and go to copy paste and say copy properties. And then select all the layers where you want this effect. So I choose all these layers here. And then just do option command V or right click and say copy paste and paste properties. So that's it. We have done applying the effect here. All you got to do is just prototype this one. So I go to the prototype tab. I select this option here, which is a user link. I place a link to the next layer and I'll say instant. And here the trigger should be a delay. So you select the layer and link it to the next one. The trigger is going to be after delay. Let's give it something like uh, 300 seconds. Sorry, three seconds. 300 seconds is going to be too long. Uh, and then the animation, let's make it dissolve so that we have a seamless transition to this layer here. So that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and preview this one. So I click on present. Yeah, here we are on the screen and I click on this layer here. There you go. We have the smooth animation and it transitions to the layer. So that's how you do it in an easy method. So the next one I'm going to show you is with the dark mode. So I've already created a dark mode layer here. So we have the layers in dark mode. First thing is just duplicate this layer here since we want the animation, the lazy loading on this uh, layer. So the next thing you got to do is just go to the plugins, go to Lottie files. You can either do this uh, search for that layer, the same layer. So that's lazy loader. Or I'll also give the link to this particular animation. So just uh, click on this link here. It says open animation. And that should take you to this particular screen. Uh, you can do this or also you can go to this particular link I've given in the description. And once you go here, you have an option to say edit layer colors. Just click on that one and it should take you to your new tab. This is an inbuilt editor by Lotte, which does amazing things. So you can choose any Lotte animations and change the colors of the layers. You can see all the layers here. Since we are dealing with a dark UI, I'll just change the background layer to a darker one. So complete black. Click on update. 
So there you go, it's updated to a darker version, but still it's too bright for a dark UI. So we'll change the fade layer also. So let's make this uh, maybe 303030 should be fine. I'll update it. And yeah, this looks pretty good. So make sure you remember this value that you use for the fade layer because we have to use that same layer for the background. So once you have done that, you have an option to say export as a lot of JSON. So just download this file. And there we go, we have the JSON file. Now head back to Lotte files and you will find options called as preview. Just click on that and you have an option to drop your file. Just drop the JSON that you just downloaded. And that should load up the animation for you here that you just updated and just go to handoff. And here you have an option to say convert to GIF. So just click on that and you will be landing on a new tab. So here is where you have to change the background color. So make sure you do this or else you will have a kind of a glitch effect that will not look too good. So I click on that and here I change it to 303030 which was our fade layer color. And that's it, just convert to GIF. What it's doing is it's just converting the Lotte format to a GIF format here. The same thing that we saw on the Lotte uh, Figma plugin also. So there you go, it's done. Just click on download GIF and you should have the GIF downloaded. Now just take it back to the Figma file here. So I take it back, I drop it here. So let's close this, we don't need that anymore. So here we have our GIF and I'm gonna do the same thing, which is option command C and then I'll select all these layers here and I'll do an option command V. So there you go, we have the GIF applied to all these layers. And all you gotta do is prototype. So I go to prototype tab, I click on this, I link it up, let's keep it instant. And here we want a timer delay, so I link it to the next one, say after delay. So let's go for four seconds. So that's 4000 milliseconds and I'll say dissolve. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, one more thing we gotta do is, we gotta apply this as the home layer or the home screen, whatever you call that. And once that is done, just go to the present. And here we have our dark mode. I click on the user link here. And there you go. How easy was it to do it for the different layers? You can go ahead and change and play around with the colors uh, until you're satisfied. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you found it helpful. And as always, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.